13 minutes after 6 now on this Wednesday morning, Florida is on pace to mark a tragic milestone. A record number of manatee deaths in a single year. In a new Full Circle report, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska went out with scientists by land and sea to see the incredible work people are doing to save the manatee. We're not even halfway through the year and we've had more than 700 manatees die in Florida waterways and that's getting close to the same number of manatees found dead over the past three years combined. Zoo Tampa is the only critical care facility for manatees on the Gulf Coast and right now the zoo is at capacity. We were there as they treated some of the sickest manatees, some extremely thin and have deep wounds. An orphaned calf named Calliope is their youngest patient at just a few weeks old. I traveled exclusively with Zoo Tampa staff to the Fort Myers area to see how they care for an 1100 pound sea cow as they're affectionately called in transit. Darling was released in the same area she was rescued a few months ago. And releases like this one are happening across the state. Scientists tell me a combination of cold weather and loss of seagrass from contaminated waterways took a huge toll on the species. Algae blooms in the Indian River Lagoon on the East Coast causing a collapse of the manatee's habitat and food source. When we have these catastrophic losses, we're talking about more than a thousand manatees dying this year, and now they're all adding together. This population can't sustain that going forward. So we have passed the point of recovery if we don't do something much more serious to get this under control. I'm sort of the early warning system if something doesn't look right. Jen Galbraith is a manatee tracker with Clearwater Marine Aquarium. We tagged along with her as she used a satellite linked radio tracker to find Opal, a manatee she is monitoring. Despite the tragic losses this year, Galbraith is optimistic manatees can thrive again in the wild. They don't need help. They, they can do this on their own. The only reason we have to help them is because we hurt them. <laughs> we're just we're just trying to fix that circle that we sort of broke a little bit. So other than that, they, they know what to do. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.